All right, guys, welcome to class. Today we're going to start um, with a story about the uh, evolution of grocery bags. We're going to start out um, doing some vocabulary work, right? It's really important that we know vocabulary before we start our lesson, so that way the story is easy to understand. All right, so the evolution of, evolution of the grocery bag, it was written by Henry Petrosky. Um, Henry Petrosky is an American engineer. He's written over 13 books related to engineering and the design of everyday objects. He's written books on grocery bags. He's written books on paper clips. Um, he's written books on shoes. Anything you can think of as an ordinary object, this is what he writes about. Okay? Have you ever wondered how everyday objects were invented? Have you guys ever seen the show How It's Made? Nope. Oh, well, whatever. All right. So think about pencils, desks, sneakers, and even something as simple as a paper shopping bag. Um, you know, desks weren't always a thing in school. You had to sit at these, you know, long tables or sometimes you had to sit on the floor. Pencils, they were not a thing. You had fountain pens where you had to refill the pens every time you used it with ink and they got all over you. Um, sneakers, sneakers didn't exist. You had wood bottom shoes and they were very uncomfortable. All right. So think about vocabulary words that would help you invent something. Yes, ma'am? Um, gear. All right, well, let's, all right, so you got your vocab words. Let's start with our activity, right? So, but that's good. We're gonna, we're gonna put that on here. So alpha boxes, right? You have it on your packet that you were given. Alpha boxes, it's a reading strategy that helps increase vocabulary words, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about inventions and what is required of inventing something and to produce something, and we're going to write those words on our alpha boxes. Okay, during the whole class activity, we're going to begin by brainstorming the words, like I said, that we think about when dealing with invention. When we think of a word we will discuss, we're going to discuss why we chose it, and then we're going to put it on our alpha box worksheet. So if you have a word that starts with the letter A, we're going to write it in the section A. If you have a word that starts with the letter T, we're going to write it in the section labeled T. Okay, we have some examples. Innovation, helpful, efficient. Okay, these are words that we think of when we talk about um, inventions. So it's going to happen. You're going to give me some words. We're going to kind of rotate through the room. When you come up with a word, you're going to come up and you're going to write it down. We're going to use the pen on the smart board and you're going to write it in the appropriate box. Okay. All right, so Celia, you had a word. What was it again? Gears. Gears. You want to come at it? To our, our alphabet, why did you choose gears? Um, because you use gears to make things. Right, so when you have a machine that creates something, possibly like a paper bag, it probably uses gears. All right, Shaquille, what do you have? You got a word? Mm -hmm. What do you got? Discovery. Discovery, why did you choose discovery? Because if you discover things, it helps the world a lot. Beautiful, can you come add it to the alpha box? Thanks, Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Hey, Angeli, let's think of a word. Easy. Easy. Why did you choose easy? Because nothing is easy. Because nothing is easy, and maybe inventions help. Nice job. Good job. Yeah, maybe inventions help your life become easier. Okay, Darlene, we got something? Invention. Invention, right? That's probably the best word here. Let's go at it, right? Because that's disrespectful. Go All right, invention, right? Because we're inventing something, we're creating a new product, and that's what's really important. Okay, make sure we are adding these to our own alpha boxes that are on our desk because we're going to use these as we read the story. Okay, as you read the story, you're going to start writing down your own words so at the end we can come back and we can add them to our list. All right, anybody got another word? Yes, Celia? Automatic. Automatic. Why did you choose automatic? Because um, it's automatic. Like, it, it, it's automatic. Inventions are on they the automatic. They automatically work. They automatically work. Nice All right. Leo. Good job. Yes, Leo. Okay, let's do let's do three more. Who else has one? Me. Shaquille, what do you got? Uh I got measure. Measure? Why do you pick measure? Because when you measure something, or you measure how long yeah. you have left to do something. Yeah. And like, you know, 
Give me one sec. All, All right. right. In my that's that's fair. Oh, you, you, you said, uh, Let's come back, darling. You got a word? Uh, design. Design. Why do you choose design? Because um, you, you, you can create things. Right. So you create things and you design them. Let's come add that to our list. And Angela, you got one before we come back to Shaquille. I one. Create. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I got one. I got one. I'm Why do you choose create? I got one. You can create things. You can create things. I think that's the best one yet. Probably the best one yet. Shaquille, what was yours? You know, it's Celia. What's yours? Recycle. Recycle. Does that we use? Reduce. Reduce. Recycle. What's the thing? Think about it. If you're inventing something, you probably want to. No, wait, I got you. Okay, okay. We recycle to build other things. Right, you can recycle products to build other things. Ours over there to the right. Shaquille, last one, what you got? Improvement. Improvement, and why did you choose improvement? Because when you improve, you get better at the thing you're doing. Beautiful. And that makes you improve. Okay, come add it to the list, please. Beautiful. So proud of you guys. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to do. Great. All right, so do we like the idea of using an alpha box to learn vocabulary words or to identify words that tie into what we're learning? Yes. Yes, thank you. So much. All right, so let's go ahead and read our passage, right? So in the packet, you also have the packet. We're going to kind of round robin it. We're going to round robin it. I'm going to go ahead and start, and when someone wants to jump in, go for it. Okay, remember, as I read, go ahead and add words to the alpha box that we can talk about later. Okay, that much reviled bottleneck known as the American supermarket checkout lane uh, would be an even greater exercise in frustration were it not for the several technological advances. The universal product code and the decoding laser scanner introduced in 1974 tally a shopper's groceries far more quickly and accurately than the old method of inputting each person manually into a cash register. But beeping a large order past the scanner would have led only to a faster pileup of cans and boxes down the line, where the bagger works had it not been for the introduction, more than a century earlier, of an even greater technological masterpiece, the square bottom paper bag. Yes, Celia? The geometry of paper bags continues to hold a magical appeal for those of us who are fascinated by how ordinary things are designed and made. Originally, grocery bags were created on demand by storekeepers who cut, folded, and pasted sheets of paper, making versatile con counter containers into which purchases could be loaded for carrying home. The first paper bags manufactured commercial commercially yep. are said to have been made in versatile English in the 1840s and 1852 a machine for making bags of paper was paper paper in America by Frank Foley of Bethlehem Pennsylvania according to Wolf Wolf's on description of the machine operation Operation pieces of paper of suitable and then are given out from a roll of the required with cut off from the roll and otherwise suitable for me to the required shape for their, their edges pasted and laid and formed into complete and perfect bags. The perfect bags produced at the rate of eight, 1800 per hour by holes machines were off. Of course, not perfect, nor was his machine. The history of design has yet to see the development of a perfect object, though it, is, it has seen many satisfactory ones and many sub, substantially improved ones. The concept of cooperative improvement is embedded, embedded. embedded in the paradigm mm -hmm. for inventing the better 
mousetrap, no one is ever likely to lay claim to a vast mousetrap for them that would first pursue the inventor himself from coming up with a still better mousetrap without suffering the embarrassment of having previously declared the search complete as with the mousetrap, so with the bag. Beautiful, Celia. That was wonderful. Okay, so didn't we notice any words while we were reading that we were unsure of that we want to go ahead and add to our alpha boxes? Absolutely. All right, Shaquille. Yes. What do we got? What's the word? Okay. Uh, accurate. Accurate. You want to go ahead and add accurate? Yep. Okay, what do we think accurate means? When you're accurate. That means Often. you make less mistakes and can lead you to faster getting done. Okay. Did anyone not think of accurate? Good job. All right. Do we have another? Do we have another word? Versatile. Versatile. What is? What do we think versatile means? No, versatile. What do we think versatile means? Right. Think about it. Specific shape. Can you put it? Can you well, let's think about it in the sentence. Can Celia, can you read it in the sentence? Um, where the really grocery bag grocery bags were created on demand by storekeepers who cut, folded, and pasted sheets of paper, making versatile containers into which purchases could be loaded for carrying. Specific. Home. Right. Well, let's think about that. If he's making bags per object, are the, all the bags going to be the same size? No. Are they going to be different shapes? No. Yeah. No. Right, they can change shapes per the container, right? That's what versatile is, right? You can kind of mold it to what you need. All right, do we have another word? Like water. Mm -hmm. Do we have another word? Yes, manufacturer. I think I think Angela's out. Angela, what do we got? What did we write down? Yeah, Show it to me. Mary. Paradigm, right? So she wrote paradigm. Paradigm is one of those words that you're not going to see that often in life. Okay, paradigm is a viewpoint, how you view things, an outlook, okay? Because in the sentence, paradigm is, I just saw, okay. So the concept of comparative in, uh, improvement is embedded in the paradigm for invention, the better mousetrap. It's embedded in that viewpoint or that thought of invention, right? Invention is always to improve, that's why people invent things, and that's what paradigm means, that's your outlook. Um, for invention is to always improve it. Okay, one more word. Shaquille. Darlene, what we got? Uh, manually. What do we think manually means? Manually. Manually. When you're manually doing, think of manual labor. So if you're a construction worker, you do manual labor. You're doing something with your hands, hands right? Like hand work, hand work. Hand work, right? It's manual labor. You're doing the work, the physical work. All right? Beautiful. Did some of these new vocab words help clarify? Yes. Beautiful. Let's get to the exit ticket real quick. Okay, so question. Why were paper bags invented in the first place? They were invented to carry stuff, right? They were help. They were invented to help improve the checkout process, to carry those things away um, to your car, right? Because think, how hard would it be you ever go to Aldi or Costco? They don't have grocery bags. You got to carry all that stuff out yourself. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think the author says nothing can be perfect, Celia? Because all the grocery bags that they make are not the same shape. Close, and right? That's true. Different. So if everything's different, the movement is different. Yes, Shakira. Improvement. Right, because everything can always, always be improved. Okay. Okay, that's all. Well, like All right. So, when how were shopping bags originally made? We talked about that. Um, um, it. In 1852. That is when they were made, but why were they made? Or how so were they made? So it can be easy. Yeah. Right, the shopkeepers made them. And have you ever thought about an invention that you think could help improve the world? Yeah. What do you think? Think about something. What's an invention that can be made? Yeah. Uh, automatic 
Oh, uh, they have those, Shakil. Yeah, but you know what? I appreciate. No, I appreciate no, no, that. Okay, hurry up. Okay. Time they got kids waiting outside. On you, Shaquille. Automatic TVs. Well, okay. Automatic. Wait. Yeah, automatic AirPods. Because I'm not a guy. I'm gonna tap your AirPods. I'm gonna tap your AirPods. I don't have AirPods. But I appreciate it. <gasps> Robots. All right. Robots.